Hi again. Compound interest. So compound interest is the longest, the biggest formula we've talked about so far. Um, we'll do two practice problems, and then we'll we'll call it a we'll call it a morning here, right? So here's the formula for compound interest. It looks just like exponential growth, except for there's another variable in here, which is n. So you know that a stands for the initial amount, how much money you started with, or how much of the population was started with. R stands for the rate, and compound interest is always growth. Okay, so it's always going to be increasing. T we knew was time in years. N is going to stand for how many times interest is compounded in one year, right? So the terms you're gonna see are annually. Well, how many times does annually happen in one year? Once, so N would be one there. Um, you're gonna see monthly, and that's 12 times, because monthly happens 12 times in one year. Quarterly is four, like four quarters in $1, right? So four quarters in one year, like think the seasons, right? Fall, winter, spring, summer, okay. Um, now, other ones you might see, okay? Semi-annually, I think I talked about this a little bit before. That's twice, okay? Um, if you were to see weekly, which you probably won't, just in case you know, it's 52. Um, and now daily, which is amazing if I'm trying to invest money because <laughs> it gets compounded 365 days in one year, right? So these are the ones you'll see, but these are the ones you'll see the most often. Just be careful about semi-annually, right? Just know that, that that's two. All right, so let's say that I had... Uh, $50,000, and I wanted to put into account with a rate of 3.25%, it has to say the word compounded. If the problem doesn't say this word, it is not compound interest. It has to say the word compounded. So that's, a, that's a, just a giveaway, right? Now, the word directly after the word compounded, whatever that is, is going to be the rate of compounding, the N variable. So let's just say it's compounded semi-annually. So these two words together are, it, it's, a, it's a giveaway. It, it's, I know it's gotta be compound interest and I know what the rate is for N. So, and let's say it's gonna be for five years. So let's just start plugging stuff in, right? So 50,000 is my initial value. One plus the rate as a decimal, please remember to move the decimal twice to the left. If you don't know how to do it in your head, just move it twice to the left on paper, just like I did right there. And we're gonna divide that by two because that's the compound rate of semi-annually. Now, the two happens twice, right? Because there's a two ends here. And then the time is gonna be in five years. Now, like I was saying, this calculation you should do off to the side or in your head. Because if you put, if you raise this in the calculator to the two power and then multiply by five, it's gonna multiply this whole thing by five. That's not what you want. You want this whole thing to be raised to the 10th power. And I'll show you what that looks like now and why it's different. That was one of the biggest mistakes on the quiz that we took on Thursday anyway. So 50,000, one plus um, 0 0.0325 divided by two. And we're gonna raise that to the 10th power. Okay, now I know it's hard to see the other side here, but that's 50,000. This is one plus 0 0.0325 divided by two to the 10th power. You can just very simply do the division sign here to make this happen, okay? Now my, my answer is this. It's gonna be 58,745 and 63 cents, boys and girls. There's no such thing as a third or fourth or fifth decimal place in money. So just round it. Now I'm gonna do the same problem, but not putting it to the 10th power and you're gonna see how different it is. So 50,000, one plus 0 0.0325 divided by two. All right, now I'm gonna raise that to the two times five power. Now, see, my calculator is better <laughs> than all yours. Okay, this is what you do in the other calculators in school, though, because they're 100 years old. 0 0.0325 divided by 2. I'm going to raise that to the second power times 5. This is what your calculator in school does. You see how different this is? It's going to raise this to the second power, and then it's going to multiply by 5. You see how much bigger that number is? It's totally wrong. Everyone in America would go to a bank right now if this was the calculation. Look at how much more money you get. You get like, a, like 200,000 more dollars. It's not how compound interest works, boys and girls. <laughs> okay, this answer is totally wrong. This answer is totally right, right here, like this. Let's do another one really quick. Let's say you had $1,000. Um, in three years, you wanna see how much is in your account if the rate is Let's go crazy, let's go 10.25%. That's a lot, by the way. 
Um, and let's say it's compounded uh, monthly. This is a good compound rate, okay? So let's plug it into the formula. Let's go 1,000. One plus, can you see that? There you go. Um, 0 0.1025 divided by the compound rate of 12. Now I'm gonna put 36 up here, right? So, because I don't wanna do this in the calculator, well, even though mine's great, it's monthly compound rate, so 12 times three, so 36. Let's put this in the calculator and see what we get. $1,000, one plus 0 0.1025 divided by 12, and raise it to the 36 power, right? Did I do that right? Yeah, I did, okay. Okay, so after, after three years, I made about 350 bucks, right? It's pretty good. You only had, oh, this is gonna be two five, right? So there we go. Bam. Done. Right? What do you think about that, Titan? You're sleeping, so everything's okay, you know? Bye.